Hey, welcome back to part two on this series. I'm showing you how to use this uh, JSON formatted text file in Android. So we're using the Jackson library and we have four buttons that are able to save and retrieve cars from a list. Let's look at how the application is designed and how we make it work. First of all, let's look in the Java code. You can see that I have a class called car. Car is a pretty simple class. It has, uh, let's see, a year property and it has a make property. So I'm going to put these two together so they're easily seen. Then I have a two string operator, which is created automatically. I have a constructor that shows me how to in insert new, new guys. And then importantly, I have a blank constructor or constructor. It does nothing. And then all the getters and setters. So that's the car class. The car list class is similar to what you've seen in other applications, hopefully. We have a single property called car list of type car. And then we have the ability to do a two string operation. And then the getters and setters. Now let's go take a look at our um, a new part here called the build gradle. So inside of here, I have a section called dependencies. So if you want to include a new library from somewhere else, you need to do the dependency insertion here. So you can see I have three new lines that I copied here from the documentation on the Jackson website. So here is the place where you can find the actual official Jackson library. It's a, it's a GitHub account. And so they give you nice instructions on how to use the dependencies in the Maven format. So unfortunately, they don't show any more directions on how to use this in your um, your uh, Android Studio. So you could do a search for it and find probably how to do this. So let's try that. I'm going to go into my Google search, type in Jackson JSON, Gradle, Android, and sure enough, Stack Overflow comes to the rescue. So the first guy says, how do I put this in with Gradle? And there is some code. So you can see that the uh, code is what I copied and pasted and then did a slight upgrade. So this was done a while ago. This was version 2. .4.1. Let's see what I put in mine. The latest version is 2.9.4, but almost the same. Let me show you what happens if you add a, a change here. So let's change this to from a 3 and then back to a 4. And you'll get a message up here that says you need to synchronize your Gradle. So let's go ahead and sync now. And it will download the necessary files and add them to your project. And then hopefully you get a finished message. Okay, so now how do you make this work? So let's go and find a new class that I created called Data Service. So Data Service is um, a class that handles all my I.O. And if you want to know how Jackson works, I have a more generic Java tutorial in a, in a previous video in this playlist. But here is the specific things that need to be done in Android Studio. So we use the Object Ma Mapper uh, class, which is part of Jackson. And then you can see that I have a uh, constructor called Data Service and we are going to have to do something called a context. So I've created this context variable and the context is passed in from a previous call. So let's see, write lists. We're gonna take a car list and ask for a file name. Here's the code. You could just copy this if you want and we handle some IO exceptions, but the write value is uh, listed here. It's a single line that will handle all of the uh, input output. Down here in read list is a similar idea. We're going to ask for a file name. When we're done reading from the car list, we're going to put it into a return list and send it back. So this is similar to a previous um, tutorial that we've done in a previous video. However, this is a bit of an Android twist on it because of this thing called context. Let's go see how this was done in the main activity. So the main activity has these buttons. So I have all the buttons listed here, and then all of their actions below. So all of my output comes to a text view called TV output. And let's see, what do we do first? On all these guys, we just go find them in the layout, and uh, we have how to add a car. Add a car, we create one, and then we uh, add it to the list. It doesn't actually save anything yet. What's this next one called? Four cars. Similar to one car, we add four cars to the list. Now we have clear lists. Uh, what does that do? That one just empties the lists. Here we go. Here are the actual new buttons. The button save. We call 
a new instance of the data service. And you can see I'm having to pass the context. So see a previous video on context and what that means. But the context is the application itself. It's the way to pass uh, data from one service to another. And then all we have to do is tell it to write the list to the file called cars.txt. So in two lines of data, or two lines of code, we can save a text file. Getting the text file back in is using the load command. So here we have two files, or two lines again. We use the data service, and then after we get the uh, new list, we update the, the text view output. And so there's some code to look at. I should put this online as a, uh, an example in, the, in a GitHub repository. So check the link in the description below, and then you can use this as a demonstration for how to use a file input output using Jackson.